I believe that the price for a full life is mistakes. Mistakes are the price for a full life that you have to pay if you learn from them. I believe that hell wants to maim you and mock you with your mistakes. But heaven wants to make you and transform you by your mistakes. Failure should not become a prison house where you're held hostage the rest of your life by your mistakes. That's not God's voice. That's not God's will. That's not God's plan for you. The enemy wants us to think that our failure is final because I've seen us go through things where the enemy tried to take us out by a failure or a mistake or a terrible choice. Your mistakes are not final. Your failure is not final. Rejoice not over me, O my enemies. For when I fall, I will rise again. When I sit in darkness, the light will come. I want somebody to hear me clearly. You might have made a mistake, but you're not one. You might have failed, but you're not a failure. You might be down, but down is not your destiny. There is a resurrection coming to your dream, to your life, to your call, to your purpose. You might have fallen and you might have failed and you might have made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. And God will never define you by the worst mistake and choice you made in life. Critics will, attackers will, haters will, people will, but God will never define you by your worst mistake. And I need you to thank him that great is his mercy towards us. I love the story of Simon Peter. I love the fact that God loved him after he messed up. That's why when the angel appeared at the tomb, the angel said, Jesus wants me to specifically name one of the disciples by name. He said, go tell my disciples and Simon Peter to meet me in the upper room. The same guy who denied Christ. The same guy who lied. The same guy who cut a man and got violent. The same guy who fell and failed miserably. He said, you tell my disciples and you tell Peter. He named him specifically, I believe, because he wanted his critics to hear. I'm still, I do believe in my good disciples, but I also still believe in my fallen disciples. And I'm here to preach to some people who've messed up and the enemies told you, your call is over, your blessed, your dream is, is shredded. You don't have any hope. You don't have any future. There is restoration available for you and he still has his hand on your life. Isn't this something that it was Simon Peter who preached on the day of Pentecost? He didn't choose the other 11. He chose the one who messed up. And that's what I've come to prophesy and preach to tonight that some of you have fallen, some of you did it, some of you messed up, but the Lord sent me to tell you there's still life in your dream. There's still life in your call. There's still life in your purpose. There's still life in what God has called you to do.